and wants me to lie about witnessing sexual harassment to protect her son. So I teach 8th grade, and a few months ago I had a female student come up to me in private and tell me that a male student in her class was sexually harassing her. She shows me text messages that he has sent her detailing highly graphic sexual things B wants to do to her, and tells me some of the things he said to her when they are in the halls she tells me that she has asked him to stop repeatedly and but he is still doing it, and she wants me to help keep him away from her in my class. So before I file a report to have guidance and admin investigate the issue I spend a class period keeping a close eye on the two of them to see if I can confirm or deny anything she's saying. Once I'm looking for it, I observe the male student doing things like licking his lips at her from the other side of the room, hovering around her, and finding reasons to walk past her desk. I personally overhear him make a sexual comment about her to another student. Based on what I've seen, I go ahead with referring the boy to admin for sexual harassment and make contact with parents of both students to inform them that the issue will be investigated by the school and possible disciplinary action will be taken. I don't make direct contact with the boy's mother but I leave her a voicemail and ask that she call me back. The next day I'm in my planning period and I get a call from the office saying there's a parent there for a meeting. Now, our policy is that parent meetings must be scheduled in advance and logged with the office. I don't have any meetings scheduled today, but I have time so I decide to go and see what's up. It turns out to be the male student's mother in the office. She very nicely asks if we can talk face to face about what's going on, and for some dumb reason I agree, even though usually we like to have another teacher or staff member present for meetings. So we go in a conference room and I go over the allegations, avoiding names. I tell her that a female student has accused her son of sexual harassment and I saw enough evidence in class to refer it to the office for investigation. M, now what exactly did you hear? Because I know my son he would never harass a girl. He might say something stupid that got taken the wrong way, but that's just not who he is. So what exactly did you hear him say? I want to know what this girl is saying about him. Me, I saw him licking his lips at her and overheard him say to another boy that he wanted to ride that ass all night. M, what do you mean licking his lips? He gets chapped lips, he might not be doing it to harass some girl. She can't just say things about him and try to ruin his life I know my son and he is not that kind of person, no matter what some girl says. Me, well, admin and guidance are going to investigate and based on what they find they'll be in touch with you. M, so wait what did you tell them? You can't just go and say, boy's name, is harassing girls based on what one person says. He's already been suspended twice, and now you're going to get him expelled just because some girl wants to get him in trouble for no reason? Now I'm thinking ugh why did I do this? Mom is getting worked up, I have no one else there and my next class starts soon. I repeat that I just reported the things the girl said and the things I saw, and that it'll be investigated. I reiterate that I'm not the one making any final decision and if she has an issue she needs to talk to the principal. M, well, principal, hates, son's name. She's not going to listen. You need to go and tell them that this is all nonsense. You saw him licking his lips because they were chapped, I'm not going to have all this harassment bullshit. Me, again, if you have an issue I'm not the one to talk to. I just reported what I saw. They'll look into it. M, but you didn't see anything and you need to tell them that. I'm telling you I know my son, and you've got this all wrong. If he gets in expelled because you don't know what you saw it's going to be your fault. I eventually talk her down enough to get her to leave. I report to admin that parent is hostile about the accusations and go about my day. They end up investigating and finding hard evidence that he was actually sexually harassing three different girls. Boy got expelled.